NETBible.org is a free online Bible software with no ads. It has 11 Bibles and over 10,000 articles which are tied to your current chapter. It has two main sections, one for the Bible and one for Bible research, which is synced to the Bible section. In the Bible section, you can choose a verse from the drop-down or you can type it into the search bar on the right. You can change versions from the drop-down, but the NET is the only version with tagging and cross-highlighting. You can look through your bookmarks by clicking the icon. You can change text size with the double A. You can listen to your current chapter by clicking the speaker icon, but it's only the NET version. There are several different Bible reading plans to choose from if you click the daily button. If you click on a verse, you will get some options, but some of them require you to create a free account using an email and password. You can highlight a verse by clicking it, selecting highlight, choosing a color, and selecting either underline or solid. You can add a note to a verse by clicking on a word and selecting note. The notes you create will be shown by an icon, but there isn't a way to see all your notes at one time. You can bookmark a verse by clicking on it and selecting the flag icon. You can see all your bookmarks by the icon I showed earlier. You can search for your current verse in all Bibles by clicking on it and choosing Parallel. In the NET tagged Bible, you can see the Greek or Hebrew behind an English word by clicking on it and clicking the magnifying glass and clicking Word Search. This will show the Strong's Lexicon definition for that word. You can see all the ways that a Greek or Hebrew word is used in the NET Bible by clicking on it and clicking the magnifying glass and clicking Strong Search. In the Research section, there is a Notes tab which shows the notes from the NET Bible when you click on the little blue numbers on a verse. It also displays your personal notes for your current chapter. The Bibles tab is a way to compare multiple Bible versions to each other. If you click on the little arrow next to it, you can choose what Bibles to compare. The Greek and Hebrew tab is one of my favorite features because it has cross-highlighting when you hover your mouse over a word. It will automatically sync to your current chapter. If you hover your mouse over a Greek, Hebrew, or English word, you can see information about it, including morphology, tagging, transliteration, which is how to pronounce it, root, which is the basic Greek or Hebrew word used to create that Greek or Hebrew word, and it also shows the Strong's range of meaning for that Greek or Hebrew word. If you click on the highlighted word, the information pop-up will stay open, and you have to click it again to close that pop-up. The Library tab will sync to your current chapter showing relative articles or journal entries, which are writings from random people relating to your current chapter. It also shows information about the names and places mentioned in your chapter. The Maps tab is not synced to your current chapter or searchable. It's full of satellite pictures. The Search tab shows results from the search bar above it. You can search for a scripture reference or a word or phrase. The results are split into categories. The Bible tab has some options to show either the exact phrase or some of the words in it. You can also choose which testament or book of the Bible you want to see results for. The Notes tab is from the NET Bible, and the Bible.org and Journals tabs show results from random people for your current search.